Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to answer this question. What is general purpose and memory optimization uh, mapping data flow in Azure Data Factory? So you know that uh, when uh, in Azure Data Factory we use for ETL, we need uh, to use that to read the data from different data sources and then uh, we want to perform some transformations uh, and finally write the data to the some sync or destinations. Um, so here uh, Azure Data Factory provides us this uh, data flow that uh, visually we can design the whole ETL process uh, here and uh, that can help us to read from different sources maybe join with the different uh, other sources maybe use a lookup you know sorting data finding duplicates and all that and then now uh, once uh, we are done with all that we can write to the some sync um, so that's our data flow so now to run this data flow we need compute and uh, this uh, data flow runs on the spark cluster so these are spark clusters uh, they have the nodes so see right there uh, we have these all different uh, source here we have all these uh, transformations and then finally we have some syncs there now what we are going to do here let's say this is how your data flow look like now this data flow need to run as on a computer and our, as i was telling you you need to provide some power so those are the spark cluster that you will be creating so here to use that power you will be going to the integration runtime and then you will be telling how many v cores you will be using them so if we go right here in the uh, our integration runtime continue and let's say we do want to do as here because we want to use data flows so, and uh, here in the data flows so you see that there are two type of computes available there is general purpose and memory optimization so uh, right here uh, general purpose uh, this is more like uh, when you are doing some normal operations and then the memory optimization uh, when you are using the transformation such as join sorting ranking so lookups all those uh, which take more memory then it's good idea to use the memory optimized uh, here there is a gray area honestly if uh, you see right here if I do use general purpose and uh, it is telling me how many V cores I will use uh, most of the time uh, if we are coming with the background of computer you know that uh, you need a uh, CPU need and you need the RAM so if somebody say like hey your CPU I'm giving you 64 plus 16 that will uh, make it um, you know uh, some uh, I believe uh, uh, these are total uh, you know uh, 16 B cores and 16 uh, driver cores so or even this one let's say this one uh, 48 now if somebody tells me like hey I'm gonna give you 48 uh, V cores that means uh, uh, compute and not telling me like uh, maybe you give me only 10 GB RAM how my system is gonna perform so this is a gray area where Microsoft is not doing a great job I will say like if they will tell me like hey with 48 V cores I am giving you some uh, maybe 20 GB total RAM uh, you know uh, this much memory you will be used in it uh, so that is not given but anyways with general purpose if um, you are using a lot of joins lookups and all that in the data flow general purpose is gonna work uh, slow and uh, then uh, in the if you do memory optimizer you will be still using the same uh, uh, core count but uh, you will be provided more memory so there is no area like exact amount like how much more memory you will be provide uh, how the architect will change under the hood for that you know compute uh, I have no idea so here anyways uh, you will be using general purpose for general purpose and memory optimized there are two types of them let's take a look uh, on this um, so definition uh, here general purpose cluster typically provide the best balance of performance and cost that means uh, it is uh, good uh, and it will give you uh, you have to pay less money however memory optimized setting can significantly improve performance in some scenarios by maximizing the memory available per core for the cluster so it means that if you are using more uh, memory and uh, if uh, in cases where you are using joins and lookups uh, it's good to use a memory optimized compute type that's great but as I said that and also it mentioned here for general purpose cost per v core is less and for memory optimized the cost per v core is more now let's take a look on the uh, price for general purpose you are going to pay uh, 0.274 uh, dollars per v core per hour okay and for the memory optimized you are going to pay 
343 per week or per hour and I'm talking about region um, East US in each of the region that could be different you know if you go for Netherlands or uh, some European and all those uh, there will be different prices um, so here probably uh, UK South you might have we'll see it uh, change from a point two seven four two to two eight eight so in UK South is uh, different uh, so, uh, but uh, you see the general purpose price is this one and for memory optimized, you are paying more price. So now let's think about that. If uh, I am running uh, our cluster of uh, 48 week cores with general purpose for one hour, I will be paying $13. And then uh, if I will be running with memory optimized, the same cluster, I will be paying $16. So uh, just uh, ignore these numbers, 16, you know, 1350 and uh, 1650, something like that. So you are paying, uh, you know, almost uh, $3 more when you're going with memory, memory optimized. But again, if you are using memory optimized, maybe your cluster, uh, your process will run faster and you will come to the same point, like you will pay less money, you know. And with the general purpose, uh, the process will be get stuck, uh, you know, in the joins forever and uh, you will be paying more money. So I will suggest you, you know, uh, try to uh, run your process process with both so first uh, come here and uh, use your uh, um, uh, IR with the uh, general purpose and uh, once you test it like oh it took me one hour 30 minutes now do the same thing and do the memory optimize and see how much time it take you so test that environment in your lower environments before you go and start processing thousands of files with that data flow and then you end up like oh I have to pay a lot of money you know for these so design and find also the sweet number for number of v cores you don't want to go for 256 plus 16 driver cores you know so you might want to find uh, slowly go up uh, and see which is the best setting because each week or you have to pay the money for that uh, now um, these two links uh, I will uh, share with you and uh, I wish there would be more information on uh, like uh, how exactly uh, with the general purpose how much memory you get with the memory optimized how much memory is given to you so that would be great but it's not given to you and also with the other things when you are looking at the building here you will see that if um, data flow factory data flow is also built for the managed disk and blob storage required for data flow execution and debugging so that's also we are not sure how much it is uh, uh, in cases that you are using memory optim general purpose and uh, maybe that has to be written on the uh, some disk to process it or you will be paying more money when you use the memory optimized maybe the process will happen inside the memory and the, the less disks will be used and you will pay less money so without testing I don't really have the number for you like how exactly it's going to behave in your environment and on your ETL loads so test it out in your dev environments or some you know demo environments and then further deploy to the prod I hope this video is helpful I wish there would be more details about this you know and uh, but uh, that, that's pretty much I could find thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video